Okay, we have this 2004 Club Car Precedent. We have a intermittent, well, we had an intermittent crank. Now we have no crank. I think the solenoid is bad. Oop. Customer said he changed some micro switches. Uh, put, I think he said he put a new battery in it. But he's getting, he was getting an intermittent start, or intermittent crank. And when it did run, it was running really good. You can see he's had the floor off. He was messing around inside the... Carpet's been pulled up, so he's been under there in that pedal assembly. So let's do some diagnostics on the solenoid and see if we can get her to run. I just checked the engine. It's not hung up. It's not seized in any way, so... Got a new one here. We're probably gonna have to replace it, I'm thinking. So what I'm gonna do first to diagnose this, I'm gonna jump the solenoid out and see what happens. Using trusty pliers. Okay, so if I step on it, give it fuel. Clips. Oh. We don't. It's unusual. <laughs> Our switch isn't activating. See the switch? I, go, I have it in service mode, but you can see it's not activating the switch. That's one issue. We got to. I'm gonna, just going to bend this tab a little more because it's not. It's not lining up properly, so we got to give it a little more oomph. We have a blown 10 amp fuse. And it's popped. I'm gonna replace it with the new one. New 10 amp. All right, so now the solenoid is activating. Always double check the battery polarity and make sure it's installed correctly. Okay. We have a bad solenoid. No power getting across to the other side of the contact, so let's change out that solenoid. Then we should be good to go. First things first. Connect our battery. And every golf cart manufacturer these days is obsessed with Torx bits. You're going to need a Torx bit to remove this. And also, as you can see, I'm struggling, so we're going to Remove the air filter housing cover and air filter. So I can get in here with this. That's uh... That's interesting. Let's get these. There we go. Let's get that turned. Now I'm gonna try and get in here with a channel or vice grips. If I 
could at least get the head to. I'm just trying to get it to, t at this point, just trying to get it to turn. You know, it's gonna be a little bit of a tough angle for me to get for you guys, because I can't get the camera in my way at the moment. I'm only going to be able to put one screw back in this. There's no way I want to put this one back in here. And I don't have any in stock to replace it with at the moment, so... I won't be able to. See how gnarly that is. So I uh, got that loose. It's, uh, definitely original equipment. These don't matter since this is not grounded to the frame because there's really is barely any frame to these it's all plastic basically like a unibody design there's the new one SBC 410 4201 C 12 volt C means continuous duty I have a hard time remembering to line shit up in my shop have to go nuts cranking them down okay but you also don't want them to be loose because otherwise you'll have other issues okay so now I'm gonna reinstall screw. I know it's a really bad angle. Sorry. A whole heck of a lot I could do for you there. Okay. All right, and then reassembly is everything in reverse basically.
deep socket. Okay, remember, don't go ape shit crazy tightening these things because you're only gonna break those studs. And then you're gonna have to replace the solenoid again. Okay. Okay, reinstall the air filter and reinstall the air filter cover, lock it, and test. That's a result. All right, guys, that one's done. Okay, so there you go. You can see. There's the new solenoid, and there's the other hole. I don't have a replacement screw for it, but it's in there pretty firmly, so it's not going anywhere. But you can see this screw here is completely shot, so we're not going to be able to we're not going to be able to salvage that. That's shot. If I had some more that were very similar, I'd throw one in, but I don't, so. There you go, new solenoid.